Let's go, man. Start, start I with got to hurry up. I got some Bill here in the front. Do, man. My teammates. Bill Doyle, Worcester Telegram. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. What's, what's this? Paul, you, this franchise has so much history. Just how does it feel to create your own history? It feels so great, man. I mean, it's just to work so hard and for 10 long years being the Boston Celtics, just going through my ups and downs. Uh, Danny, Doc, the ownership guy, sticking with me uh, through tough times, and you know this is this is what makes those other moments so sweet. Knowing that you were at rock bottom a year ago today, and to climb all the way to the top, uh, this is this is a dream come true, and I'm gonna cherish this forever. And what will it mean to hang up your own banner? It means everything, you know. I'm not living under the shadows of the other greats now. You know, I'm able to make my own history uh, with my time here. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, this is something that I wanted to do. If I was going to be one of the best Celtics to ever play, I had to put a, a banner. And uh, today we did that. Mark, front right. Mark Spears, Boston Globe. Paul, can you just put in perspective the, the wait that it took so long for this franchise to get, get something and finally, finally getting that? Oh, my goodness, man. This is, this is just... Unbelievable experience. I mean, if you're going to win a championship, you want to win one with the Boston Celtics, man. And uh, I can't even put into words how to describe how I'm feeling right now. Just this has been great, man. This has been great. And, oh, and, and also, just getting the MVP award. What does that mean to you? I mean, I, I give that credit to my teammates. Uh, Worked so hard, man, to be here, and I'm just happy. John Hollinger, ESPN.com. Paul, can you talk about the commitment you guys made at the defensive end when uh, Kevin and Ray came here? <coughs> you know, I was, it was a stretch there. I was wondering what happened to Ray. I was like, you know, what's going on? But uh, the guys who came in there stepped up and. You know, we was able to make a run. And when Ray got back out there, I think it kind of fueled us. Uh, we pushed the lead up to over 20 when he came back. And it was just like, hey, it's, it's about to be lights out. It was good to see him. I thought, it, I thought it was he was done for the game because he sat for so long. <clears throat> and I uh, didn't know what to expect. But once he came back, he, I think he really rejuvenated us. And uh, we was able to push the lead and not look back. Rachel. Paul, I want you to think back to that day where you and Ray and Kevin held up those jerseys at that press conference. When you guys were all together, what were you thinking about, about the goal that you had together and what you guys could do together? This is what it is. This is what we talked about. And, you know, it's one thing to talk about it, another thing to go out and do it, and we did it. And uh, it's so gratifying. I mean, we just got to the point where we were getting tired of the coaches and, uh, <laughs> every day. But, hey, we put in hard work all the way from September, getting here early. Going to Rome, staying together, the guys dropping their egos for the good of the team, sacrificing so much. You know, you guys look at Kevin, myself, and Ray. We sacrificed so much uh, of what we did uh, throughout our careers to, to get to this point because we've done everything we've, we've been able to do individually, won all type of awards, but never made it to the mountaintop. And today, it's like a breath, breath of fresh air. What did the three of you talk about back then, though, at the beginning of the season? What were the conversations? I mean, the conversation was like, hey, we got a tremendous opportunity. I mean, we never, neither one, none, all three of us never played with this type of cast, playing with two other All-Stars, a former MVP, Kevin. Uh, I just knew we had a great opportunity, and that's all we talked about all year long. Even through our rough starts, we just said, hey, let's stay on our, fo let's stay focused and stay on the right path and get through these rough moments and, Let's see what happens in the end. It was just, it just seemed like it was camaraderie from day one. Just from day one, from the time Ray was traded, talking to him, from the time Kevin was traded, talking to him. This is all we talked about, and it's finally here. Paul Steve Buckley, Boston Herald, um, to your right, right side. Could you um, talk about the three of you coming out of the game at the same time with four one remaining, and what your emotions were, and what was happening on the bench? Just took a deep breath, look at the score, and I said, hey, you know, it finally happened, man. We were just so excited. Uh, you know, nothing nothing beats this. You know, the guys was like, man, this is what we talked about. We talked about where we, what kind of trip we're going on now. Got to go somewhere. We won the championship. So, 
You know, so many things just running through our minds on the sideline. Like, we just in awe over there. Just can't believe what's going on. It's like, I, I can't believe still right now that, you know, I got a championship under my belt. Thank Paul, you. On Stephen Alford, Black Athlete Sports Network. When did you decide that you were going to shower Dark Rivers with the Gatorade? Was that a preconceived notion before the game or <laughs> spur of the moment? Well, you know, just, all, I, just from watching, you know, other sports and throughout the years, all the championships won, I was like, hey, what's the championship? Why do I splash a Gatorade? <laughs> and I looked up, he, and nobody thought of it, so I said, hey, at the four-minute mile, I was like, we're going to get him. But we knew we had the game sealed and just waiting for the right moment. And, uh, you know, it's a tradition. I, I see it on TV all the time, so I decided to go do it. Chris, next question in the fourth row. Microphone's coming. Um, Chris Thomas and Rocky Mountain News. Can you just talk about having all these Celtic legends on hand and Bill Russell celebrating with you guys down on the court after the game? What a feeling that was. Oh, it's a great feeling, man. It's just knowing that, that, you know, these guys, what they accomplished and, you know, they, those things that hang over our head every day and for us to go out here and make history in front of those guys, it, it, it means so much more because, you know, these are the guys that have the checks, the the Bill Russells, the Koozies, the Tommy Hines, these guys started uh, what, what's going on today with these banners. And, uh, you know, they don't hang up any other banners but championship ones. And, uh, and now I'm a part of it. And, you know, just all the years talking to Bill and John, Koozie, uh, finally just, I feel like we come out of that shadow now. And we're able to create our own. And now we can stand up and look them eye to eye and say, hey, we, we accomplished it too. As a, as a follow-up, can you just kind of look ahead to next year and assess your chances of repeating? I know it's a bit of an older team, but can I you don't know, man. Let's talk about that tomorrow. Let me enjoy this. I'm going to enjoy this one tonight, man. I'm going to enjoy this for the next four weeks straight before I go to bed. I don't see no sleep in my future. Thanks, Paul. All right. Ray Allen will be right up.